So we typically define a hazardous substance as one that has a listed workplace exposure limit or a well, a substance that's covered by the classification labelling and packaging regulations, a biological agent, a dust in substantial quantities in air, or any other substance that could potentially be harmful to human health. How a hazardous substance enters the body is an important consideration when trying to develop effective control measures, and there are five main ways that this can actually happen. Number one, absorption. Typically, absorption happens through the mucous membranes, the eyes or even the skin. Number two, inhalation. Inhalation can cause immediate damage at the contact site through corrosive burns or irritation. There could also be delayed damage to the lungs, such as fibrosis. Sensitization could also occur, or even entry of the hazardous substance into the blood across the moist membrane of the alveoli. Number three, injection. Now this is usually caused by a sharp object piercing the skin. An example of this would be an animal bite. Number four, ingestion. This takes place through the mouth and contaminants are swallowed into the stomach and therefore into the digestive system. But this is not a significant route of entry into the body. The most common occurrences are due to airborne dust or poor personal hygiene. For example, not washing hands before eating food. Number five, direct contact. So this is contact with previously damaged skin surfaces. Consider cuts, abrasions, or even acne. Our skin is a major route of entry for hazardous substances in the workplace. Some chemicals can be easily absorbed through the healthy skin into the bloodstream and then can be transported to the target organs where they can cause significant harm.